Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Monday, um, November 22nd, and the moon is in Cancer. Um, of course, the sun just moved into Sag yesterday, uh, last night, I believe, and um, there is a, um, the energy between the Sag, the Sag sun, which brings big, big, uh, um, big views, big ideas, big, um, just bigness, a sense of the bigness of the world and, um, the vastness of the earth that we share and the cancer moon sort of brings us home and uh, makes us concentrate on those things that no matter how far you um, go out into that big that big world um, cancer always brings you back home and for many of us um, home holds many wonderful memories and for some of us it's the opposite. And we need to find a way to become a family um, of man and women and children and animals and birds and trees. <laughs> Today, um, we have a, let's see, what do we have? We have a square between the moon and Chiron. It's really the only major aspect the moon is making today. Chiron is um, an archetype of, among other things, um, the wounded healer. Chiron is also an energy of um, healing itself and wisdom. Chiron was a great centaur who was able to overcome his lower nature, um, utilizing his intellect and his intuition, bringing the divine down to earth. And that's really um, what we are doing at this time. We are grounding the light. And when we ground the light, we dispel the darkness and it may seem like there's more darkness than there is light out there but that is an illusion and it is in our darkest moments that we truly find the inner light and so if you're feeling as though um, you're overwhelmed by the amount of pain and heartache that you see in the outside world it's time to touch the pain and heartache of the inside and come to understand yourself and come to understand your wounds and come to understand your place in the world, in your family and in the family of man and woman and children and animals and birds and plants. Life on earth, guys this beautiful, beautiful place that we call home. Let's love her and help her as she helps us because without her, we are nowhere. <laughs> so today is kind of that kind of day. We have a, a rainy morning here. The birds are chirping like crazy and I wanted to be down here on this part of the yard because when it rains, it gets pretty noisy at the front of the house because of the cars passing on the rainy road. So I hope you guys have a great day. Like and subscribe. I think today can be a moment of pause uh, if we allow it to get ourselves together, to get our heads together. And just like here in the garden where we can see the leaves have fallen and what is left is the structure and the skeletons of the trees, which, save for this one that's on the ground here, 
are still alive and well and whose energy has moved into its root system. It is gone within the trees here in this hemisphere. The energy has moved to the center and to our roots. And so let's examine those roots and uh, find our connections, find our mycelium networks that connect all the trees together. Reach up to the stars and keep your roots firmly in the ground. Be like the tree. Have yourself a great day. Much love. Namaste.